Hey guys, so today I want to show you how I store things in my very small uni room. It can be hard going to university for the first time and not having enough space to put all of your stuff. Obviously my room is going to get messy from time to time but I want it to be as quick as possible to put everything back into its place. So I'm just going to show you how I have my things in my room and hopefully it's helpful. Okay, so this drawer unit that I have here is actually from Ikea um, and when I first got it, these handles were actually silver but I spray painted them all gold just because it went better with my room at home which is where this was before I came to uni. So there's six drawers in it and it's actually really good for storing all of my art things. So, for example in here, we have glue and tape um, which is something I need a lot of. I've got drawing equipment, um, it's got space so you can put labels in here if you want to but I kind of just remember where everything goes. This is my makeup and products kind of drawer. I find it really good to separate things out into these baskets so they don't get all jumbled up. Um, these ones are actually from Poundland and you get a set of two for a pound and they've got um, black, grey and white which obviously are the ones I've got. Um, then I've got this basket in here which I got when I was in Germany, um, it's just really cheap. Um, so I've got yeah my eyeshadow palettes that aren't like in my everyday makeup, spare brushes, all my like lip products, um, sort of body products in there, hair bands, hair clips, hair grips and then my everyday makeup is in this bag so I just take this out in the morning and do my makeup and then I pop it back when I'm done and close the drawer. Then this bottom drawer here is for all of my hair things. So I've got all my hair products along here like dry shampoo, heat protection spray, um, hairspray and then at the back here I have my brushes and then in this basket here which is just like a curver one that you can get in Tesco I've got a hair dryer with like the pieces for it and I've got my straighteners, the Remington ones and I've got my curler. So I find it good to have that in a basket so that it doesn't get tangled up in all of the products and things. Um, that's the way that I think it works best. Okay so this is my bedside table. So this is the top. I have this lamp which is from home because you don't always get very good lighting in uni rooms. I would advise you to bring at least one lamp with you. In here, these small baskets, the, again the curver ones that you can get in Tesco, um, fit perfectly in here. So I didn't have these at the beginning but I found that I was just shoving things into it like a shelf and then losing things so I kind of categorised them into the baskets. So on the top I've got my box of tissues which I covered in this sticky back plastic marble stuff and then on this end it's just got velcro so you just open it up and pop in the new tissues and then this dish which is from H&M Home um, and at the moment I've just got this hand cream from the body shop on there. Normally this can get like things like hair bands and things that I might need quite a lot but I try to keep the top quite simple so it doesn't feel too cluttered so that's why I think this is quite helpful to catch things so it doesn't look so messy. So in this first basket I've just got electronic things like chargers and like a camera case and, and then below I've got this one which is like medical and tissues and things and then the one behind playing cards and spare purses and sunglasses and things. So on top of my wardrobe here I have one big box that says small bags and one that says scarves. Um, quite self-explanatory really. So this is my box with small bags. I just stack them in. I think somewhere to have like a basket like this to have small bags is quite a handy thing so I can just throw them in. And then they're all in one place when I need to find one of them. <laughs> And then the second box up here is the scarves. I don't do any amazing kind of folding, I just throw them in so whatever one I've worn most recently is normally on top. Um, this pink one is my most recent one which is from H&M. Okay, so this is my very little wardrobe to house most of my clothes. 
Um, it already had this hook on the front that someone had put on it, so I just hang my dressing gown up there so that it's not with all of my coats, which I'll show you in a second. Um, as you can see, there are three really not very deep <laughs> shelves and then a rail, which is really low down um, for a rail. So when I first came here, um, I just had all of my stuff folded in here and it was a complete mess. I decided to use these clear boxes that are from Ikea. So on the top shelf, I've put t-shirts in here and then long sleeve t-shirts in this one. So then on the shelf below, I have my jumpers. So on the left, this part and the part behind are my thick jumpers. And then in this box here, I have all of my thinner jumpers and things. And then on this third shelf, I have all of my jeans stacked on the left here. All the ones aren't in the wash. And then um, in this box here, I have all of my like leggings and other kinds of trousers, like sports ones. And if I have any like kind of tracksuit bottoms or like loungewear type thing, it will all go in there. And then when we come down to this rail, um, I've got all of my hangers are from Primark. I think it's three pound for a pack of five of these. I try to do kind of light to dark generally and then roughly I try and put all my dresses on the right hand side so it's longer on that side than this side which is shorter. And then in the bottom here, at the beginning I did keep my shoes in here but I found I couldn't really see any of them and it was kind of interrupting with the hanging of some of my clothes. So. I've just got this small basket here which has hats and gloves in it. Okay, now we are on to coats. So this is on the back of my bathroom door. They're not taking up loads of space in my wardrobe as I don't have very much space in there. One of the things I would most recommend that everybody gets if they're going to uni are these over the door hooks. So they just hook over the door. As you can see, I've got one on this side of the door and then I've got another one on the other side of the door for my towels and things inside my bathroom. And right when you walk into my room, on the floor I have these two plastic baskets. Um, this is the Curva one, the same as you've seen in my room already um, from Tesco. And then this is just a white plastic one, I'm not really sure where it's from. Um, and this is where I keep all of my shoes. So I think having somewhere where you can put your shoes when you come into your room is quite important. And that's why I have this by my door because I was finding that I was needing to hoover my floor a lot more because there was like a lot of dirt coming in and it's just where I was bringing it in with my shoes so basically now I keep this by my door and I try to remember to take them off as soon as I come in and just put them in one of these baskets. Okay and then one space that every student should utilise is under the bed storage. There are lots of different ways that you can store stuff under the bed but I just have these big plastic boxes that you can get anywhere really. So this one's like for all my paper and things like that. Things that just take up a lot of room. You don't have to get the plastic boxes. I just find that they work well for me. And then the last place I'm gonna show you is just a little section of my desk, which is quite busy right now, but it's because I'm in the middle of a project so I need a lot of these things out. So I've got all these pens in here in this basket. Then I keep all of these thinner ones in the small little basket here. These are from Tiger. I got them recently. They're actually for the kitchen, but I've got this one with all my coloured tape in. And I've got some clips in that one there. And rubbers. And then in this bottom one, I've just got my spare printer ink and some more silvery clips there. Then I've got a small pot here which just has all of my Sharpies and fineliners and biros and things, like essential ones. And then at the back I've got some of my notebooks just in this basket as well, so they're all contained. And then I've got some of these small clips in this little mug here. And then just here under my TV, which I just have for like DVDs and things, I've got this set of acrylic drawers from John Lewis. Basically this is where I keep all of my paper that I can use when I'm doing a project. So I hope you enjoyed looking around how I store things in my room. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!